What's up, guys? I'm Ryan Serhant. You know that. This is Aaron Kerman. We're in LA today to give you the craziest property tour you've ever seen. This is a $65 million house that isn't even on the market yet. I can't wait to show you this. Ready, set, go! Okay, stop, 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 stop. I think this might be it. I don't even know. Aaron gave me coordinates. He wouldn't even give us an address. This house hasn't even been on the market yet. We're gonna be the first people to see it. And it's apparently unlike anything that I've ever seen. But I'm like, dude, Aaron, do you know who I am? I get it. You're Aaron Kerman. You're in LA, but I'm, I'm, kind of, I'm not as important as you. Wow. LA, I'm so allergic to you. I don't even know where you knock on a door. We don't have doors like this in New York. Whoa. Look who it is. Wow. It's been a long time. Good to see you. Good seeing you. See, you don't even get these in New York City. I was just saying. It feel, I mean, it feels like a vault. Yeah, it like, is it, It's literally like a bank But it vault. pivots nicely. But it pivots nicely, it yeah. It's really nice. You haven't put this on the market yet. No, you are you you are literally the first person in this. You house. are literally the first one. Oh, you guys are literally, yeah. I don't even know, there's so many cameras here. It has nine bedrooms, 7.5 baths. When you walk into houses, you normally just see like marble. Here you see marble, wood, brass. Yeah, there's a lot of texture here. There's a lot of texture. If you look at this like, I'm obsessed with this moment, by the way. The staircase is incredible. And one of my favorite things is that is wall. That wall. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and the reason why I like that wall it's so It's just much. extra. You could easily just do that as a white wall. Put a piece of art there. Keep it super, super simple. But it's like, no, let's, let's spend a lot more money on the millwork. What makes this like super interesting too is you're in an area called Truesdale okay. in Beverly Hills. Yeah. All the houses are one story. Got it. You're not allowed to build a two-story house. Okay. This is the only two-story house in Truesdale. How do you get those approvals? It's the only one that got approvals. How he did it, I don't know. Well, so this is a, it's a statement piece, but it's also one of a kind, and it's not bullshit. It's not bullshit. It's one of a kind. It will never happen again. When we were driving here, I don't know if you noticed, they were all one stories. This is it. This yeah. is the one time, and that adds a lot of value. So what we have here is a daylight basement that basically feels like the first floor. Got it. First floor without it. And then these views are like, Sit. this is so centered. It's incredible. So you have a dead on view of what is like prime, prime, prime uh, LA real estate. Wow. Uh, you have Century City here um, on a clear day. And unfortunately you're not here on a clear day. You see the Pacific Ocean, you see uh, the Wiltshire Quarter, you basically see everything. So yeah. living room. Got it. Um, what's incredible is you obviously have the dual glass over here. So it's separated by this incredible courtyard. And when you walk in from the door, you just see this incredible pow. This was all Michael Chen, who's the developer. This was all his baby. Yeah. Um, this was his design. This was his his uh, his love, his passion project. He worked with an architect called Ciota, okay, uh, who is incredible and you walk into this great room wow. and you're like, wow, insane. The skylights are incredible. Check out this marble, single slab, incredible. And obviously- Super modern. Super modern. Super S sexy, modern, like few scenes. Even just like this, if you see this, like the grates in yeah. the stone. What a pain in the Do you the know ass. how hard that is? I was just gonna say. <laughs> Do you know, I, I, I mean, I don't know if you guys know how hard guys and gals, I don't know how hard it, you guys know this is to do. But so that you, you don't, Break them. I mean, Correct. I mean, you're literally cutting into marble, uh, inch by inch, piece by piece. It's a night. I mean, this alone would probably take weeks to get done. To give insane. you an example of quality and to make it all perfect, so they don't. Yeah, I, wild. Exactly. But again, this house has a very contemporary vibe to it. But it still feels warm. It feels cozy. Matte finish is my favorite marble these days, especially because, for kitchens. Co correct. In LA, we're having a little bit of a, a backlash against marble. Um, my buyers are like, don't show me another house with too much marble that feels yeah. cold. Let's, and usually a lot of these marbles are like shiny and glossy. Yeah. They chose to go matte, keep it warm, feels like leather, and yeah. uh, I love it. Huge sink. Huge sink, huge sink. But the funny part of the sink is it will never be used. Yeah. Because they're gonna use the other one. Behind this wall is a is a secondary kitchen that is the one for cooking and cleaning. Oh, you're you ready to go. Let's see, let's see, yeah. let's see. 
ready to go. You're ready to go. I'm ready to go. I mean, no house is complete without the wine, the beer. Yep. Um, notice uh, Gagana appliances throughout. These are yep. insane, um, super cool. So yep. uh, this is the actual real kitchen. This is for- The worker kitchen. The worker, the catering. Uh, notice there are a lot is 16 burners. There are 16 burners here, all Viking range. Wow. Um, this is like a real kitchen. This is a real kitchen. So this is me. I feel like I'm looking at like a massive car engine. You it's really so are. Big. This is like an operate. Just to run this operation is out of my brain power, but it, it's great to have. You have 16 burners, you've got four sinks, you have a thousand cabinets. And a thousand cabinets. Plus you have four Gagano stoves. And I know you know Gagano, but yeah. it's obviously expensive. It's prime, made for entertaining. It's a perfect place. Beautiful. This is also the thing that all the big houses in LA have now. Is a second You kitchen. have to have a second kitchen. Like yeah. if we don't, we end up losing. So this is the thing that all buyers expect. Um, it Listen, adds, when you're spending $65 million, yeah. you deserve a second kitchen. This is pretty much one of my favorite rooms in the house because whenever you have a kitchen wow. and a den and a dining attached, and by the way, this isn't the formal, it's just hangout. Yeah. This is like the room you're gonna live in, right? Uh, this marble is incredible. You should notice how- It's got the same leather finish to it. You have the same leather finish. Notice how you have the brass yeah. in the middle to give it a really good design element. Beautiful fireplace, great TV. Um, Every little detail of, of, of this room is thought out, but again, the beauty uh, of this- Let me just see if I could live here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Honestly, even the lighting- Yeah, the reveal of, underneath. Look at the reveal underneath. It's, it's, the kitchen looks like it's like one massive block of stone carved out of the quarry in Italy and just shipped here. That's what it is. Check out the really cool chandelier here. Um, super interesting. Every yeah, little super cool. Super cool. Every little thing he did, every little touch was curated for this house and is like a piece of art. You know, a lot of houses in LA too, and people don't realize this, do not have space for art, right? You, you, it's all glass. Because it's all glass. Yeah. This house actually has the right walls. And again, you know, you come on out here and you have this incredible view. Wow. One of the most expensive streets in America yep. is the street that you take to get up here. It's called Hillcrest. Okay. I sold a two acre lot for $68 million, just for dirt, just for dirt. That was the tear down price. So that pretty much makes Hillcrest one of the most expensive streets in the world. Yeah. Plays with a lot of light in this house, which I like, like in their design between a lot of the reflective materials and the glass seen through the dining room. Right, and all the skylights, you get skylights everywhere. It's really, it's really, really I always cool. say, if you can't be happy in this house, you're not gonna be happy anywhere. Cause yeah, this house has a great happy vibe. Yeah. It can right. severely medicate. Hold on, let me just there. show you something. Stay there, stay there, stay okay. there. I just wanted to show you the quality. You know, we talked about the entry pivot door. Yeah. This is literally the same size and scale. It's, and it's taking you straight to the master bedroom. And by the way, just feel the depth of the wood. It's insane. It's insane. Why, why have a door if it's not gonna be three times the size. So no master is complete without having your just- Its own living room. Yeah. Its own living room, your own formal space. Um, what I really like about this particular one is you have a great little sitting area. Oh my area. God, I didn't know that was gonna happen. Pay attention, you're-, you're I just, you're, I'm just you're, opening you're, everything. You're I just can't stop it. touching I, things. You have your own little beautiful sitting area here, um, but it's a great little cozy space. This is smart. It's smart, no? This green wall for privacy. Green wall, yep. And this is the uh, master bedroom. Oh. Yeah. Wow. It is one of my favorite master bedrooms of all time. You wow. are, like, you're sitting on the perfect corner. The, the corner exposure is really what blows. How many fireplaces are in this? Everywhere I look, it's like fireplace, fireplace, Fire. fireplace. This is, by the way, like my favorite part. What is happening right now? So this is, this is our, our, our master Terrace. I always tell people, even if you're not And this is that, your super sexy private hot tub? Yeah. I, I was telling people, even if you're not that attractive, this is the perfect spot for anything you want to do here. I think this house here. makes anyone Any, attractive. Anyone attractive, for right? sure. That's, 
For it's sure. like, hey, let's go up to my little $65 million place with my 150-year-old <laughs> olive tree that I imported in and craned three times, plus my little private hot tub off my master suite with billion-dollar views. Totally cool. Totally even, normal. Even I could get laid here. And you've got these heat lamps here in the ceiling. You, you have these heat lamps. Obviously, this house is um, curated for pretty much everything. This is like an amazing little area to just sit back. Your bedroom's Beautiful. here, your tub's here, your view's here. You're kind of in paradise. Yeah, these moments are really, really cool. Even this, this, yeah, like this is a structural yeah, thing, glass. right? Yep. But if you notice that it's cased in glass, it reflects on the entire view. So yeah. even that detail just Which brings out cool the moment. Which is cool because when you walk in, it really makes it seem like it's a like unencumbered, amazing view of the corner. Exactly. It's wild. Exactly. Um, it must be cool to watch storms come in. Not that you guys ever have weather we, here. We don't but. have that many. There's a lot of different view perspectives, right? Yeah. Sometimes you have dead on, like unobstructed city views. Sometimes what I love about this particular one is you're, you so have centered. a little canyon, right? You have yeah. a, so you have a little bit of green and then it goes straight to the city. So wow. it's centered perfectly. Yeah. So Ryan, this, yeah. this bathroom is pretty much oh, as big as some of your apartments that you're asking $15 million for. Where are we right now? We're definitely not in New York. Holy mother of God. Okay, so wow. this is a shower. This is the shower of showers. Go on, go on, look at this. By the way, look at the skylight. Or not even the skylight. What is that? What are we calling that? That's just a massive glass. Yeah, it's just your, it's your glass ceiling. It's your glass ceiling. You have this incredible marble. Wow. Um, this so, I would take, this would be like, this is a conference room. This is a conference room. You have beautiful marble here. You have yeah. gorgeous under lighting, lighting. It's really pretty. Um, it's really, really pretty. Um, you have this massive tub, which is gorgeous. You have your glass light. You have your marble. This is the kind of bathroom, by the way, you can kind of live in. You almost don't even need the house. You have your little uh, toilet room. There, yeah. room. Nice. Uh, and then you have a massive custom, oh my God, closet. <laughs> First of all, I'm like blown away by the clothing that is staged in here. Everything's custom. This furniture piece is so nice. Do you like it? This was a debate, by the way. I like it, I think it's cool. So I, the room is very square, rectangular, and glass, and then this brings in a little bit of character. So no $65 million house is complete yep. without his, and hers. So this is his sign. Super pretty. Um, just check out this. You have to check out this, Ryan. You're gonna appreciate this. Look at this tub. Yeah, I saw this right as you came in. Kind of like the graded edges here. The graded edges, the masculinity, the, the the solid marble slab. I like that you have two. Like she has her super sleek egg tub, and then he's got his like macho yeah. manly tub. Every piece of cabinetry you see in this house is custom built for this house. This this table, this dining room. This entryway is. This dining room. And there's an is, elevator in this house? Oh, you gotta Front have an elevator. Two floors? For 65 million, you have to have an elevator. Um, this is a refrigerated wine wall, which is yeah. awesome, obviously, if you like super wine. Cool. Super cool. Beautiful marble, beautiful brass, uh, custom made very, very chandeliers. Sexy, On this hallway, you have. You have a powder bath. By the way, look at the sink. Yeah, I just noticed. Look, it's a, the, the lip, the reveal. It's the it's it's it's, it's a lip. Yeah. It's yeah. A, it looks like a lip. That's cool. Very cool. It's very moody. I love moody powder. I don't know about you, but I love moody powder bathrooms. Yeah. Um, you Hello. Just in the toilet. Good Hello morning. There. Good morning. Just so you know. Yeah. These are all options. Music, tonality, water. I mean, it, 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 it's pretty much the dream. So, Ryan, there's a ton of bedrooms down that way. Nice. Like every $65 million house should have. And I need, I need you, I, only you are gonna appreciate this. This stairwell. Yeah. Take a look at the stairwell. Take, look at the quality. No, it's like museum it, It's quality. museum quality of the, 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 the mosaic. You have the wood, you have the marble. Even here, he didn't cheap out on just throwing up a marble slab, yeah. right? Yeah. It's all custom tailored. And you go down this incredible spiral staircase. Insane. And what I what I need you this to see tree is mind-boggling to me. Is this tree is my favorite moment of the house. Wow. A hundred and fifty-year-old olive tree. And by the way, to get this in wow. was like an insane. It, there, there were like two cranes, by the way. Wow. Take this in for a sec.
Thank you. And then the waterfall, I didn't even notice that when yeah. we came in. Uh, it's incredible. So his vision again was water, fire, obviously marble, wood. Do you have a poker room? Do you have a poker room? By the way, off of this beautiful water fountain. I don't play poker though, do you? Uh, I, every time I play it, I just get destroyed. Me too, me too, not my game. Can I see this? Can I yeah. go this way? Yeah. What do you even call this space? All like, right. Come, come to my moat. Sit down. Like this is where you have deal conversations. Wait for this. Uh, do you guys wow. have a lot of theaters in New York? Yeah, Cuomo closed them all. Oh, yeah. oh really? No, I mean, I mean in the home in theaters? Your homes, home theaters. No, I mean there's the buildings have home theaters. Wow. This is another very difference between LA and New York. Like, this is you awesome. have your own private theater. And by the way, this theater isn't just like a theater. Like the walls are so thick, yeah. so deep, top quality. Um, it's layered. It has one of the top, most expensive sound systems in the country. You have your poker. Yep. You have your movie theater. Yep. You have your 150 year old art moment, and then you have this incredible entertainer space that's just one of the sickest. Significant sick amount of, of living space. Exactly. By the way, and that so is this is like the hangout fun area. Yeah. Uh, this bar is one of my favorite moments in this house. Look at the way that he cut the marble. Yep. It's like, a, this is honestly like a piece of art. The, the tint that you have on these sliding glass doors. Yeah gives that kind of like blue hue. So it almost looks like that outdoor staircase is like lit for the bar yeah. when it's really just the tint. Yeah. Like that's a cool, happy accident. Exactly. Outside, this is like where all the fun's supposed to happen. Uh, nice. You obviously have this incredible infinity edge pool. Uh, he was so smart in creating a this. long pool so you could actually swim. So you could do laps. So you could do laps and get some good energy. Uh, again, you're overlooking the city. Sit These on that, chairs. sit on that, sit I know. on that When chair. I saw those upstairs, I'm like, I'm gonna have to sit. You, you have to sit, just feel, feel this moment. Oh, okay, oh my God. This is killer. Not only do you get views, but you're really only minutes away from like West Hollywood, Beverly Hills, best restaurants, best shops. So you're kind of like in the center of the world. And right off of the pool. You need your spa. You need your spa. So you have your massage chair. Like it's already got the heat stones. You have a dry sauna, you have a wet sauna. Crazy. And um, hey, this is what's beautiful. Sit there for a sec. I'm, I'm forcing you to do all these things. Yeah. Uh, but look. But you get the view. But look, you get the view from your, your dry sauna. Okay, so no house is complete without, of course, a gym. Nice. Um, and a Peloton. These this days. is the coolest. This is so cool. So cool. I want to show it to you from the other direction because for me, I've seen a lot of staircases in my life. Yeah. But this one is really super architectural and super sculptural. And then what do we have down here? Just other bedrooms? So down here we have, uh, we have a guest suite uh, and you have a, a, a bathroom. By the way, look at the shower. Huge, massive. Oh, massive. Outdoor space. And all again, these doors. look at these. I mean, this is, by the way, this isn't just your master bedroom. This, yeah, this is, is just, just, this is just a bedroom, right? Um, massive bathroom. Lots and lots and lots of stone. It's you insane. have a beautiful uh, walk-in closet. All these secondary rooms are huge and beautiful with great views. And then you have this great guest suite, great, beautiful view. Insane. I've missed LA. Thanks, COVID. Oh. Welcome back. This is my favorite. Honestly, the staircase. You just gotta look at it from this angle because we looked at it from the. Yeah. Like, it really is. No, it is insanely substantial. It, it's substantial. And now we're gonna go to what I think is. It's not big, but it's one of my favorite offices. And this isn't like a big office. This is awesome. But it's like, honestly, one of the world most. <clears throat> romantic, impactful offices. Oh, but your access to this light, to the outdoor space, to the waterfall, I mean, it's, it's also, just insane. Also, uh, you know, as you know, art's obviously really important, but I, I think yeah. they killed it with the art in this house. Um, is New York the same where, where everybody wants that lifestyle already curated? So like, they want it's the art. It's slowly starting to get there. Got it. But it, it, it typically, no. So in LA, everybody wants the lifestyle perfect. Already done. Curated, they want, they want their multi-million dollar art collection. They so do you think someone cars. buys this fully furnished, ready to go? Fully furnished, ready to go with art. Really? And the art's not included. 
Yeah. But whoever's going to end up buying this usually wants it all. They want to bring Just their so toothbrush they can move in right and away. that's it. Call it a day. You have, this is this is fun by the way. A, the lock, a, wait, so there's a lock. So there's a is... lock by the way. Whenever there's a lock, you know, you're walking into some, some, some good stuff. An incredible wow. secondary wine room. Insane. So this is where you put all the wine. This is where you put all the wine. Well, this is where you put the, the red. Crazy. The white is upstairs, so you, so you have two wine rooms. Yeah. And yeah. then you have a couple more bedrooms. I don't know if you guys want to see or not, but we have some more guest suites. Just keep going. So the developer's actually here. His right. name is Michael Chen. Let's go meet him. Amazing work. Thank you. Crazy. This house um, is insane. Everyone, Michael Chen, this is the visionary behind the house. He developed, hired the architect Sioto, hired the designers, invested, like this was your baby, right? Yeah. How yeah. long did it take you? Total of about six years. I, so I was oh wrong. I said three to five. Yeah. So it three to five is to actually construct, but it takes about 18 months to like design, get it ready, get permit, and everything. What's your favorite part about this house? Uh, my favorite part about this house, honestly, is the tree. Like, I do, oh, okay, we're same, same, like, same, 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 same. It's like I built this whole thing. I'm like, you know what? I love the tree more than the house. <laughs> but funny enough, I think all of us, that is all of our favorite moments. I think yeah. it brings us amazing, Super unique. organic. Yeah. What is yeah. the, um, what was the hardest part about building this? Developer's point of view is actually working with contractors, making sure you're on budget, on timeline. And then, where, as, where, as, you as on, a, where are you on budget? Oh, totally. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, we're, we're like $10 million off. How much of the 10 million was the cranes to bring in the tree? Um, a little bit. A little, like, like a quarter of a million. So. Okay. A, qu oh a quarter of a million dollars to bring in that tree. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah. But you have to do it. I'm glad I wasn't writing those no, checks. No. I got to go, but let me just get this straight. So 18,000 square feet, seven bedrooms, 16 bathrooms, private cinema, 150 year old olive tree that you spent $250,000 to crane in here, private poker room, separate office, and the only daylight basement in Truesdale. You can never get it again, ever, and it is a total trophy piece for $65 million. Yeah, and designed wow. and developed by this fine gentleman here. Luster Property Group. Um, you forgot one really important thing, what? sorry. What? I, I know you're the master, no, but I, no, uh, you forgot to talk about that. Well, but they can see it, I, I just, it's I right did there. Just, you just have to recognize. And the sickest views ever. Aaron Kerman, thank you, you're sir. the man. Thank you so much. Michael Chen. Thank you. All right, we are out. This place is insane.